I live my dream life. I really do. But even your dream life can get, can become the hamster wheel. So it's so important for me to shake up energy by doing different things. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the show, Evan. Hi, Lori. Hi. How hey. are you? We're just talking about how fast the weeks go by. Yeah, I feel like it was just last week that I was here. It really, really <laughs> does feel that was, way. But it really does feel <laughs> like there was a lot of time that passed. I think when there's a holiday as well mixed in there, it's just you are like, wait a minute. I didn't yeah. get the full full days in. Nope. So I hear you had a bit of a um, just... A weekend that maybe didn't meet your expectations, but then did. Totally. Do we, tell. We were supposed, we went to Ojai, California, which is a lovely little town. And we were going to go camping there, mm-hmm. but neither of us made a camping reservation, which <laughs> is a small detail. And then we're like, oh, we'll just be able to get one of those walk-up spots. Right. And then they're like, oh no, we, we're all set here. And All the nearby towns were full, so we walked around a little bit. We had our sandwiches, and then we drove back and set up our tent in our apartment, (laughs) which took up the entire apartment. I literally saw, I was scrolling on Instagram, and I saw this picture of a tent in their living room with George, their dog. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. But then I knew, like, when someone, if you got a shipment of lemons, you would have (laughs) fresh lemonade and the neighbors invited over For immediately. Sure. Yeah. You'd Thanks. be like, look at this. We're drinking lemonade. Aren't we blessed? <laughs> and they would have no idea that you missed yeah. your campsite. But I, I do find so that bad. funny because I did learn like we, cause we've been wanting to go camping and trust me, that's exactly what Chris and I would do except minus even having the sandwiches. Yeah. So <laughs> who knew? I'd be like, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Except I know hey, now from Nick because he does a lot of camping that they book out like sometimes years in advance. Here. I had no idea that it was Oh my God. Like I mean, good luck getting into Yosemite. Seriously. I thought you could just bring your stuff and pick a spot. I guess it does not. not work that way. You can't just camp in any old woods here. No, you no. gotta reserve it. It's nuts. So we went to Big Sur this weekend. Have you been there? No. And your photos looked so beautiful. No, they don't even capture it. Like, and, and I know you know that because you've seen different parts of California, but you mm-hmm. guys, if you have never been to like up the coastline past Santa Barbara yeah. on the PCH, um, we went to Carmel and Big Sur. It's like, I didn't even know places like that existed. Wow. Um, just like the cliffs and the water and the, and the water is like turquoise up there. What? It's super, super like light, 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 light. I, yeah. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. You guys would, you have to make a trip up there. It, Northern California is just beautiful. Oh my, it's like another country. Yeah, it really is. It's insanity. And it's in the United States. We are so blessed. We really are. Hashtag blessed. Blessed. <laughs> hey, wait, didn't you go to a really cool luncheon yesterday? I did. Oh my God. I went to, um, so Jacqueline Johnson, who does Create and Cultivate, Mm -hmm. invited me to a luncheon and that was the invite. It was just like, hey, I'm collaborating with this uh, brand called, let's see, Social Eras and I'm having this beautiful luncheon and I was like, oh my God, this looks amazing. Except I had no idea who else was going. Mm -hmm. And you know, the hostess is like so incredibly busy. So I was like, I know her, but she's going to be busy all day long. Yeah. I was like, Lori, you better practice what you preach and just go. But this is scary because here's why. So scary. Like, She does awesome stuff with awesome people. And I'm sitting here thinking it's going to be a bunch of amazing LA women or bloggers or just like all of these incredible people. And I'm going to show up and not know what to do with my hands. (laughs) 
That's all I could picture is just yeah. being like, eh, like reverting back to my sixth grade self where I would just go in the corner or the bathroom yeah. or pig out on some food and talk to the people making the food, which I, I did kind of do. When I walked in, I was like, perfect. Oh, hello, greeters who are actually hired to greet me. Yeah. We're going to actually start a conversation. And they were like, um, I have to greet other people. And I was like, you talk to me first. Yeah, nope. You stay right here. <laughs> No, you said hi to me. So, so you're locked we're in. Now best friends. They're like, I'm the greeter. <laughs> well, that's really good that you completely just pushed through that comfort zone. It turned out amazing. So they had a couple things there that could like break the ice of the weirdness, which was awesome. So smart. You guys listen to this if you're throwing a party. Um, they had someone who was doing uh crystal prescriptions. So she reads your chakra and then tells you what, what crystals you should wear. That's cool. I wish I remembered her name because it was super fun. Yeah. So, and I found out most of my chakras are open, which is exciting because my That's really heart cool. and my throat used to be closed and now they're open. So there you go. There now you I go. can speak my truth a lot more. And I feel, I feel that Ekran. I feel it for you. <laughs> I can see it. I think a lot of people can. Yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. So exciting. What's your quote? Oh, it's a great quote by Albert Einstein. I feel like maybe you might have used this one before. Mm. There are two ways to live, as if nothing is a miracle or as if everything is a miracle. Oh, I love that. That's a really nice Even quote. Even if I did, I'm obsessed with that quote. And Me I too. love hearing it. It's a good reminder. It's really the choice of... There is no in between. You can't look at your life or what goes wrong today or what has gone wrong this morning if you're in the car cursing, you know, someone out or blaming something. Yeah. And think that that, you know, happened to you. You either have to think that happened for me so that I can have more compassion for that person or more yep. patience or learn to let go quicker or nothing or yeah. it's all against you. Right. You don't want to live your life like that. No, you don't. No. All right. So mine is <laughs> mine's not really I feel like I have the craziest morning voice right now because I have allergies. It's I just allergy it's season, it's, you know? It's spring. It's springtime. Okay. So this is five things to quit. I just really liked it. Oh, I can't wait for this. Number one, trying to please everyone. Preach. Have you been trying to please anyone lately? Oh, uh, everyone I've ever encountered. <laughs> Yeah, that gets challenging. Like, why didn't this Californian smile at me? Yeah. Good what? luck with that one. Yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> hey, depending where you are, they are friendly, but depending where you are, they are not. They're not. And you know what? That's for us. That is. It is. Not you everyone's going to smile. It truly is because I have days where I'm like, I'm going to brighten everyone's day here and yeah. three people. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Yeah. I don't like this place anymore. <laughs> and then I'm like, no. You can keep your vibe up, even if other people's vibe is not up. It's true. Number two, fearing change. Ooh, that's a good one. You got any changes coming up you're afraid of? Oh, uh, having a husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's going to be good, though. Yeah, it's a good change, I think. That's a fun one. It is It is different. Yeah. You're, you're like- a teammate now. Every time you get on the highway of life, you have a trailer. <laughs> And it's full of and shit. it's full of <laughs> so much shit. <laughs> so good luck with that stink fest. <laughs> Just kidding. <Woo-hoo>, we love- <laughs> Get hitched. <laughs> Get hitched fast. Okay. Just kidding. Get hitchedfast.com. New business for us. Oh my God. We could start like a comedy wedding. Oh, that would be awesome. People would definitely hire us. <laughs> it'd, be re- it'd be like, do you really take her? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Just kidding. <laughs> you answered wrong though. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay. Number three, living in the past. Oh yeah. What you holding on to? Oh. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Probably a lot. I, I just know. saw I just saw you rolling in here with trunks behind you. <laughs> I was like, did you bring your trunks today? No, I have trunks in my <laughs> Future you have a trailer. trailer. You have trunks. This, this is, is getting awful. messy. <laughs> All right, what you got on number four? <laughs> oh, help me, help me. What is it? Putting yourself down. Ooh, what did oh. you say nasty to yourself this morning? Huh? Oh yeah, I said to myself, "You're a little soft right now." <gasps> soft. You know when you get a little soft, like as in life, like or as in your body? Your body's just a little. <laughs> Soft. Like, well, oh, soft. we just call that Easter. We just call that a po- poached. 
We just call that you're fine. Yeah. You know what? You leave it in the boiler a bit longer this week. <laughs> yeah. The boiler of your life. The life It's going to turn into a hard egg again. <laughs> Don't worry. You're going to harden right up yeah, in a minute. It happens. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed you didn't walk in and say, punch me in the stomach like you normally do. Yeah, normally I have you look at my abs <laughs> that I've never had. <laughs> punch me in the stomach, Lori. <laughs> punch me again, Lori. Did you feel how rock hard my abs were? I did, Evans. For I can't punch time. you in the stomach again. <laughs> Just kidding. She's never said that. Nope. Just for those of you who need clarification. <laughs> um, number five. Overthinking. What are you overthinking right now? I love oh. how we turned this into more of a yeah. <laughs> everything. I analyze everything so many times. Do you? It depends. Do you? <laughs> it depends. Some yeah. stuff I underthink, and because I have to, mm-hmm. like I literally am like like that luncheon. Yeah, I couldn't think about it. Like on the way there, I was like, I would get a flash of anxiety, and I'm like, stop it. Like yeah. you don't even know what's going to happen. So stop playing your spazzo weirdo movie stop of it. anxiety, nerdism of like you yeah. being shamed in the corner by everyone. Cause that <laughs> okay, is not I played it happen. once. I played it once. <laughs> and I was like, that is rated R for rotten. <laughs> I got to stop this morning. I told her I felt weird this morning. I told you, <laughs> what, what are you overthinking? I warned you. No, I don't know. I don't, uh, maybe, uh, life in general. Mm, yeah. You know, like, Hey, what's my path right now? Is this, is that actually, I listened to this mm. podcast. Yeah. Part of it, tell. The Oprah one mm. and, um, Liz, Gil- Elizabeth Gilbert is on it talking about passion. <sighs> yeah. It was such a good one for anyone who's like, I don't have a passion. Listen to that. I think I've heard that one. It's so good. She's like, it's okay. You don't have to have a passion. Oh my God. This is what we tend to always talk about on here and with these questions because yeah. people get so stuck in thinking it's supposed to come out like the golden Buddha. Right. It's like, it ain't. No. It's going to come out like fool's gold yes. nuggets. Fool's gold nuggets out of your butt. Yes. You're going to be like, wait. Is that my passion that I see down there? And it's just, you're going to have just, multiple. Yeah. You're going to have to pile them up until it becomes a mountain of multiple passions. Yeah. Like, and there are some people who literally came out of the womb and they're like, I'm a veterinarian, mom. Oh, that's so true. And the mom's like, did you just speak? And they're like, ah. I'm going to save this lamb. <laughs> He's in here with me. What? Look at this <laughs> I have a pet lamb inside your belly. Um, <laughs> his name, he's being sheepish right now, though. <laughs> so he can't come out. We're going to stop with the uterus jokes. All right. Mom, oh. your uterus is so big. Just kidding. What okay. Am I, smoking out? Did you hear that laugh? It was so wheezy. You have, I've been seeing you on Instagram with stogies. Yeah, I, have, I have been smoking a lot. Just Evans with a stogie. <laughs> like, we're camping. <laughs> I don't think that's how you make a cigar. I'm sweating right now. So am I. It is I hot in here. I am sweating from laughter. Ooh, you know what else I saw this weekend? What? The Hearst Castle. You did? Oh, my gosh. What do you think about castles? I think that they were probably um, made for kings and queens, <laughs> but this one was not. Really? This was Just your average joke. He castle? was. It was built in 1919, so he wanted to build something that would like Whoa. just be lasting, that people would come and see. And it yeah. was just, it was so interesting though, because he clearly was either well read or well traveled, because he took um, different uh, pieces from different times and cultures on this particular yeah. castle mansion. And it was so weird, though. It was so cool, but it's so weird. It's almost like a lot. It's very gaudy because he literally yeah. took pieces of history and put everything on this castle. So you're wow. like, am I in Rome? Am I in Thailand? Am I, where am I? Am I in, oh, and he used like a ton of like art deco all around as well. So it's what? like an art deco castle from just every different country. It was bizarre and awesome That's all at cool. once. So yeah. I want to go see it. You You would love it. It's up on this amazing hill. And I actually, the drive up it was probably some of the most fun because the way that she planned, oh, and it was one of the first like big female architects who designed this 
uh, castle oh, and everyone was up cooler. in arms about it. And he's like, I just picked the best man for the job. And it was this woman. Oh, freaking amazing. Yeah. Go women. Go women. Um, but she also designed the road up to the castle, which when you look down, it's like this beautiful winding puzzle all around so that you saw different parts of California and that you said, cause That's you're amazing. so high up and you saw different parts of the castle going up and it would peek through the trees. And um, it, it was just, Really, really beautiful. Anyway, so he also smart. had a zoo and some of the animals are actually still because he had to ship his animals elsewhere when he ran into some financial problems. Yeah. So someone else had to take care of them, but some of the animals escaped. So there's like wild zebras still around. They said they see him in the cow pastures all the what? time. What? Isn't that awesome? That's the craziest thing oh I've my ever heard. God. I know. So cool. So do we have a question? <gasps> oh yeah. We have so many. <laughs> awesome. Here's one. For someone, this is from at court bogs. For someone, oh my god, we didn't do our review. Oh my gosh, we have it. Great, let's talk about the review. Okay, you're really gonna like this one. It's from Freeze Eight, the number eight. I love listening to Lori Harder. I've been following her for a few years and I'm working my way through a podcast. It has been amazing to listen to her throughout the years and see her growth into being the unapologetic, amazing version of herself that she is. So oh, nice. nice. She's given me permission to show up as who I am and who I want to be without fear of the judgment that will come either way. Every time I listen to her podcast, I laugh out loud and I'm loving the relationship she has with Evan. What? what, what? They're <laughs> hilarious and always make me laugh and smile. Keep doing you, girl. You're making us all better. Heart emojis. Oh my God. I mean, that is like heart explosion. How lovely was that? That is beautiful. You and I cannot. You. Oh my God. No, really. I can't even go back and listen to the beginning because it's so, and believe me, I'm whatever. I'm great with myself. But but I still don't want to listen because yeah. of that. But I'm that's what I'm grateful for is thank God we're all growing. And I love that past version of me and I love her. Yes. And thank you for that beautiful acknowledgement. Yeah. And we'll eight. send you something awesome. Freeze eight. Freeze I can't eight. even wait to do that. Rock on. Rock on, crouton. <laughs> okay, now for a cool question. At Court Boggs asks, for someone who is new to meditation but would really benefit from it, how do you recommend getting started? Mm. Less is more for sure. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's something called a headspace app or otherwise you can, uh, you can just turn on a song that you like. So Google mm -hmm. meditation or put it meditation in your music app, whether you listen to Apple or whatever, mm -hmm. and just put three minutes on first, put your palms up, sit palms how you up. want or lay how you want. Close your eyes, breathe deep. And here's something you can do that this is really just meditation because meditation is not, your brain will never stop. When your brain stops, it because it's actually programmed to always think because it's programmed to keep you safe. Yeah. So when we think, oh, we're gonna clear our brain, no, you'll be dead if that happens. So you you <laughs> literally have to just know you're slowing your thoughts down. Mm -hmm. You're just getting more present. You're getting more clear. So release thinking that it's gonna be some Zen moment, like because in the beginning, it's usually not. You're just yeah. learning to sit. It's like, it's literally like training a toddler who you're like, no, guess what? You're in school now. And they're like, F that. School's for school. You know what? <laughs> and then <laughs> that's clearly not the veterinarian that popped out of the womb. No, not they at all. They were opposite school. children for sure, opposite sides of the classroom. Yeah. But this child, this child is your brain and he is naughty. He's crazy. He is throwing tinker toys at your eyeballs. Yeah. And you are trying to stop him, but he's like, no. Um, and he's the one with the chocolate all around his mouth at all times. Yes. You're like, do you want to wipe that off? And he's like, no. Give me more. <laughs> that is how my mind feels a lot. That's exactly how I feel a lot. But meditating has helped that so much. So sit for three minutes, put your palms up, breathe deeply. Here's one thing that you can do. Here's a little trick that I what? did in the beginning. For the three minutes or five minutes, I would be like, what am I tasting? And I would be like, what does my mouth taste like? Did I just have coffee? Do I need to brush my teeth again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is is this what a mouth tastes like without anything in your mouth? Yeah. And then I'd be like, what am I hearing? What sensation am I feeling mm -hmm. on my skin? Can I feel the back of the chair? Can I feel the floor? Um, what am I seeing? And your eyes are closed, but you're still seeing something. Sometimes it's squiggly yeah. lines or colors or whatever. Um, and then just try to see if you can slow down your mind. Like literally, just think yeah. of clouds or think of the horizon and you're winning when you slow down your brain. Yes, and you truly, are. even when you feel like nothing is happening, so much is happening because when you get into that state of 
somewhat slowing your brain down. You get into a way more creative state. You start to lower your anxiety. You do so many good things for your health and your body and your attention span. Because I will tell you, the one thing that's so important about reaching your goals is learning to be patient and learning Mm -hmm. to like clear space and learning to be present. Because we talk about this all the time. Yep. Nothing is even like nothing else matters. Not that big goal, not anything. It's all just right now. So can you actually learn to enjoy the right now? Can you enjoy that little space of meditation? Because I'm telling you, yeah, it's one big joke on us. Yeah. It is. God's up there like, hey, it's about right now. Do I have to send you a t-shirt yeah. that says the it's time is right now? now? Yeah. He's like, Chucking, he's up there with his t-shirt gun, like pelting people with t-shirts that just say the time is now. It's about right now. Yeah. And we're like, oh, the t-shirt hit me. I was thinking What's about the future? future. And he's like, oh, these humans. They'll never understand. They're my children. <sighs> my kids. <laughs> Why do I have such dumb kids? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> he loves us. All right. Moving on. <laughs> okay. This is called, or this is called, this is from <laughs> at, what, what am I doing? <laughs> at Ashley Shorty Woro. Whoa, whoa. Ashley Woro, Ashley Shorty Woro. What do you or not do? What do you do or not do when you find yourself on the hamster wheel of what of life? Holy crap, can I talk? I, oh my Lord, Lori. I like it. You're like a hamster right now. I am. <laughs> Like not working on your goals, even though you really want to, but instead get caught up in the survival game. I got so much to say about this. Oh, I can't wait, Lori. Oh, man. Okay. You can still be in your daily life in the routines that you have to do, Mm -hmm. but you need to freaking shake up some energy somehow. And to be honest with you, like humans are so habitual. We do, what is it? 90 or 95% of the same thing every single day. So so number one, you have to know self-awareness. You're not going to go and be like, I'm shaking up my life and changing 50% of it. You're going to be back to the Frito bag on the couch tomorrow. Let's be real. Totally. You have to just be like one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Um, If you are a true like go-getter and this is like innately in you to add more, add more if you want. And if you're able to stick to it. But to be quite honest with you, one thing at a time, like I was learning Italian and guitar. I let myself off the hook. I will do Italian when I can, but I'm learning guitar. Like I'm committed to guitar. Yes. And I was like, I love your, instead of beating myself up over not learning Italian every day, I was like, Lori, I really love your enthusiasm. Like, I'm so proud of you for doing two things, but now actually just sticking to one. So knowing that I will add that later and using a loving voice, like I'm so proud of you for thinking you could do two things right now, but really just focusing on one. Yeah. So with that said, I think that getting off the hamster wheel is about just changing some of your energy for the day. Go somewhere different. Like if you're Mm -hmm. used to going somewhere the same for lunch, Try somewhere different. Try a different coffee shop. Try a different dinner place. Um, Meet with a new friend. That's huge. Try a different workout class. Like just going to that, saying I was going to go to that thing yesterday, totally. What I did notice is on the way back, I'm like, wow, I feel like I could not feel bored depressed or remotely anxious after this today. Cause I'm just so so proud of myself. And I did something different yesterday. I live my dream life. I really do. But even your dream life can get, can become the hamster wheel. So it's so important for me to shake up energy by doing different things. So I think it's easy to get in that rut and be like, I'm bored or something's wrong. Nothing is wrong. Boredom is just a feeling that's there to have you be like, what could you, what could you change? Yeah. It's great. Like Enjoy the feeling of boredom. It's better than the feeling of freaking out or losing everything. So true. So go easy on yourself, sister. Notice that the hamster wheel is like, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't I even was going to say a great analogy about a hamster wheel, but hamsters are cute and so are you. Lori, I feel, I don't know what is going on this morning, but I love it. <laughs> I think it was just the, um, I don't even know. Maybe it was yesterday's lunch. I think you just got, you just firing off some great energy this morning. I love it. I'm I'm that t-shirt gun for you. You really are. (laughs) I needed that question. That was awesome. Good. I needed it too. Cool. Do you want to answer another one? I do. We have time for one more. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, No pressure. Aw. At Ashley dot, at Chelsea dot bird. Wow. Love that name. Chelsea Bird. Chelsea Bird. What a pretty name. How can I stay confident when I'm the last one of my friends to be single? Ooh, tweet, tweet, Chelsea. Tweet, tweet. You're the free bird right now. 
You I mean, spread those wings and fly. Legit. Your friends are like, oh, she's the single friend. Why am I still not single? No, it's a funny, it's a funny place to be because yeah. some of the friends who got married are like, oh, enjoy it while you have it. Cause now you got that trailer with a shit pile of trunks in the back. And then other friends are like, life is so great. Yeah. Um, but I, I can't, <clears throat> I can't totally speak to this. Um, I can only speak to different friends who maybe are still not married. Mm -hmm. Um, And everyone who said that they've either found, or friends who maybe took longer as well. I have a lot of friends who didn't meet someone until they were like 38 or 40 or 42. Or, you know, my, one of my aunts who like found the love of her life didn't find him until she was like 45. And then they had kids. Uh, Then, then they had kids too, way later in life. So I think that you just, Everything that I've heard from them is really releasing and enjoying the space that you're in right now and what you're able to do not being married Mm -hmm. um, and not having to worry. Um, But I know, Evans, for you, like before, what, where were you at? What space were you in before you met your man? Oh my gosh. All my friends were married except for like one. I've been a bridesmaid eight trillion times (laughs) and it was great. It was so fun. But you do have those moments where you're thinking, am I ever going to get married or do I want to get married or am I going to have a partner? And just focus on you for a little bit. It's all good. There's no, there's no rules. There are no rules. Did you ever get pressure from anyone? Like, are you going to get married or... Because um, you're from the South. So I often wonder yes. like, what is that like? Because I also know they're fast like the North. Yes. You feel that pressure on yourself mm. because you're thinking, oh, I'm, am I going to be able to have kids or w- yeah. what's going to happen? My Are my eggs all dried up? Why do people say that? That's you, just not nice. I don't know. Just, There's always a way to have children, by the way. Right. Yeah. And children, it, I think we need to focus on the fact that your life can come in all different shapes and sizes. And it's all good. You're doing the, Mm -hmm. you know, the journey that you're on. Yep. The timing is different for everybody. Agreed. I always have that thought, like, you know, if there's any reason I can't have kids, I'm like, I would adopt. I would just let go and adopt. Like you can't be in resistance over the stuff that you do not even know. Mm -hmm. Um, cause you're wasting your precious life. And you guys, we only, we, we only have one in this particular body. Yeah. Or this might only be the only go round. And we don't know. We're spending that time in our 20s and 30s and 40s worrying. And it's so sad to me because it it's sad. like we need to enjoy more. We need to connect more. We need to. This is such a gift. And some of us look at this life as just surviving. And it's like such a gift just to be able to it's be amazing. here. It's amazing. So on that note, I really think that I we feel you. We so understand you because- yes whether it's marriage or whether it's a career or whether it's, you know, they have these friends and I don't like, it's the comparison game. So Mm -hmm. the second you start to feel yourself compare, go look at the people who are thriving in your situation and build that story. Yeah. And I think when you're vibing super high as a single person, that's possibly when that other bird, when big bird can come out (laughs) and you know what I'm saying? Big bird will be right there. That's me street here. Make your dreams come true. Just kidding. Only you can make your dreams come true. Don't true. wait for a big yellow bird. No, you use those wings however you want. <clears throat> Fly. Don't Fly. clip yourself. Do not clip Build yourself. Build a nest. Build a nest for yourself and let your king bird join if he wants. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So on that note, Evans, you have any, like a brilliant quote of your own? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do I ever? Yeah. I'm um, writing them over here right now. Wake up and dance and sing your life. Every day Day is is a a new new gift. gift. (laughs) Wake up Up and and dance dance and and sing sing your life. life. Every Every day day is a a gift. (laughs) I would say that's it. I would say that's the end of this episode. So you guys, again, thanks for hanging in there. We are always so proud of you. Sending you so much love. Until next week. Signing off. Bye, Evans. Bye, Lori. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest 
thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, 
Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it.